hard on. My name is Caterpillar, bringing you a brand new video. That was fucking amazing, yeah. You probably just unsubscribed to me from actually hearing me saying it's hard on, but yeah, you know what it is. But uh, I'm back with a brand new video, as you've seen with the title. It's another story to him, I haven't done one in a while. But um, this one's kind of crazy. And before I get into it, I just want to quickly describe the gameplay in the background. I'm playing some uplink on on the Nuketown map. I really like Nuketown. Well, it's like a love-hate relationship with Nuketown. I love it, but then at the same time I hate it. It's like, it can either go your way or the complete opposite way. It can either be your day or not your day. It can either be like, hey, or good, good bay, or something like that. Something like that. But uh, I do really good in this game, so at least you have a nice gameplay in the background while you're listening to my wonderful story. And as well as that, my whole family is in the house, so if you hear some background noise or I get interrupted, I apologize in advance. But without further ado, let's get straight into this story time. Holy MC. Right, so a good few years ago. I'm finished school about two, nearly three years now. Oh, about two years. And this was when I was like maybe in my second or third year of I don't know, secondary school, high school, whatever the fuck you wanna call it where you come from. I call it secondary school. Um, I was in like the second or third year of that, so I was kind of young, I was maybe around 14, 15. And I live in an estate where there's like, uh, like there's a lot of, there's houses attached to the side of me and then there's houses facing me, like it's an estate of houses all around. And if you know, if you're from, if you know the area where I'm from, it's not, it's not the, it's, I like to say it's kind of safe because I live here all my life, but uh, there's a lot of crazy shit that happens here sometimes and one of the crazy things is um, in my house at the time uh, my bedroom was at the front of the house so if I looked out my window I could see like my front garden and like the road in front of my house along with all the other houses around and basically what happened was one morning it was a school morning um, I woke up no problem maybe around half seven in the morning half seven nah pff. I don't get up that early for school, you crazy. I got up around 8 in the morning and I got up, right? Out of bed, oh, yawn, stretch, you know the sus. Threw on my clothes, kind of got ready. Oh my god, I actually did stretch there, that felt great. <laughs> I got up, right? Got dressed, stretched, whatever. I opened up my blinds in my room and I'm like, I don't know what the f I was still half asleep at the time, and I, all I could see was flashing lights, um, people in uniforms, and tape. That's that's what I remember just seeing. Okay, so I'm looking out and I'm like, what the fuck? Do you know what? My house was taped off. Like I couldn't get out. Of my if I went to get out of my garden, I would. I couldn't get out because like those. The police, the guards, the 5 0 were outside my my uh, house, and there was like three or four guard cars. There was a lot of, lot of, I'm gonna just call them police because not everyone calls them Garda. Uh, it's an Irish team. Gardie, boy. But there was about three or four police cars. All the police were out standing there and shit. Uh, there was like this white kind of tent and some guy dressed in all white and then there was like obviously tape around everywhere and I was like what the fuck is going on? Like what is happening here? I went down to my man and dad, they, were, they slept in the room beside me so we have two bedrooms at the front of the house so I was in, oh no, no, no they don't, they, they slept at the back of the house um, yeah they slept at the back of the house, now that I remember it's the opposite now, that's why I got confused but uh, they slept at the back of the house at the time. I went downstairs to get me breakfast and I was like, Ma! Like, I'm gonna speak in your 14, 13 year old voice. Ma! Why is there all police outside? Well, I probably didn't sound like that when I was 13 or 14. I probably sounded exactly like this. But, um, I was like, Ma, wh why is there so many, like, police outside? Why is, what's going on here? And she was like, did you not hear it? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Here, what? I go, yeah, I can see them all outside now. What's going on? Like, what What do you mean? What What did I not hear? And she's like, someone got shot. I was like, what? What the fuck? 
someone got shot. So like, I was in bed, and it, I, it was it wasn't long before I woke up, but someone supposedly someone got shot right outside my house. Like what the fuck? Shot with a gun? And like the funny thing, not well, it's not a funny thing, but like I don't know how the fuck I didn't hear that shit. I was asleep in the room, and right outside my window, someone got shot. Like what the? F- and I didn't wake up for that shit. Imagine we were getting attacked or some shit. Imagine like. Imagine there was a gang war around the streets right now. AK-47s and all that shit. Grenades. I'm just sleeping there like a baby having great crack. Fucking messages. Having great crack. Like, what the fuck? But, like, supposedly, right? I found out later on. It was some guy who actually was local. And, I don't know. He was, like, going into his... He was walking down the road through my estate or whatever. And some guy was just on a bike. Like a motorbike. And he just had it parked up on the path, and he just got off the motorbike and started shooting him. And uh, as far as I know, the facts were he hit him in the. I think he shot him four times. He uh, got him in like the arm twice, and then like the leg, and then probably missed once. But so he only got him in the leg and the arm. So it wasn't fatal. The fella didn't die. Um, thank God. Don't want any deaths going around on the street. You know what I mean? But. Uh, yeah, it was crazy shit. The, the, the most fucked up thing that I'm taking from this is that, like, I didn't hear that shit. I was asleep the whole time. And I didn't even know. Someone's getting bang banged outside my house. I didn't wake up. What the fuck? I did I not wake up? And as well as that, the police sirens, when they all came. Like, there was like three or four police cars. They obviously had their sirens on and shit because it's an emergency. Someone just got shot. Like, and I didn't hear anything. I'm a deep sleep. Do you know what though? It's it's okay. Cause at least no one can uh, at least no one can like interrupt me when I'm trying to sleep. I suppose, but that's fucking crazy. I just wanted to show you that that with you guys. I'm trying to think if I left out any any details or anything. But uh, yeah, if like specifics, I didn't really see anything because as I said, there was like that white thing. Do you know when like there's like a crime scene or shit? They have like a white um like a tent around. Like say if there's a body or whatever, but there wasn't a body. It was just obviously, uh, I'd say there was some blood, <laughs> and then obviously there was the bullet. Oh, I remember that. They had the little, you know, like the little forensic numbers they have for uh, clues on the ground. There was like one, two, three, like those like bullets around the ground, and they had these little things beside them. Uh, I wanted to go over and rob one of the cases so bad, but I probably would have gotten arrested. But um, that's basically it for the, for the story, guys. It's kind of crazy. I have a lot more. I know I haven't done one in a while, but... Um, there you go, finally we have another story time. I hope you enjoyed it guys. If you did, absolutely dominate that like button. I want you to sit on it this time really hard. Just don't uh, come to me when you when you break your screen of whatever device you're watching it on. But uh, other than that guys, yeah as well as that if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button because you know I'm a friendly person. I'm a friendly I'm friendly, I'm a deep sleeper, and I make great videos for you to watch. So with that being said guys, my name is Character Player. I hope you have an amazing fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.